We had the unique opportunity in this study to recover uh, the genome of a 15,000 year old uh, Stone Age hunter-gatherer from Anatolia. My name is Michal Feldman and I am a PhD student at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History. My name is Johannes Krause, I'm the head of the Department for Archaeogenetics at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Jena. The most exciting finding of the study was that we found that the forager, so the hunter-gatherer genome that we analyzed from Anatolia, was in genetic continuity with the early farming population that was present in Anatolia just a few thousand years later. What we see is that for over 7,000 years there were no major genetic changes in the region, so there was a big genetic continuity. And that there was not a new population that moved into Anatolia introducing, introducing agriculture. Uh, meaning that it was actually the hunter-gatherers of uh, Anatolia that took on a farming way of life. So what we can show here is that unlike in Europe, where agriculture was introduced by migration and by people coming to Europe, in Anatolia the emergence of agriculture, the so-called Neolithic Revolution, happened from within the population. So it was actually just a cultural change, it was not a biological change. And now the big question uh, remains is what motivated people in these regions of the Near East, including Central Anatolia, to make this dramatic transition in their way of life? <laughs>